guys, this is Materi, and I'm here with an actual video. I know, I mean, I have a camera and I don't use it for much. Um, I do use it though, I really like this camera. Uh, sorry about the background noise, everyone's partying because finals just ended. Uh, but I have an example here that hopefully will help a lot of people. It's uh, my friend Doc Sejan's favorite example that I've told him. And I've decided to incorporate it into a video using real props. So I have this cup and each of these lines, okay, this cup actually represents the spectrum of sound. So if you like open up Ableton and you open up your spectrum, this is what this is. And these lines represent certain frequencies. So I have 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 1k hertz, uh, 2.5k hertz, 10k hertz, and 18k hertz. And what this example is meant to do is show you that there's only so much room that can fit into a certain um, frequency or a certain range of frequencies. So, and it's really weird to explain, but if you want a good sound or a good song, like to make it sound professional, you have to try to fill these frequencies, but try not to overlap them. So I'll show you just like there's like an example. So we have these lines and we have water, which is gonna represent our sounds. So when you pour it in, you'll see it slowly builds up. And right now, we have all of our sub 100 um, frequencies filled up with the probably the sub bass and maybe a little bit of the kick, right? And then you fill it up some more, up to 200. And now there's your kick and your snare, really. Then you have to fill it up some more. You maybe got some uh, bass in there. You have your like main bass um, in that uh, range from 200 to 1,000 hertz. You fill it up some more. Where are we? We're at 2.5 kilohertz. So we have some more, like probably leads, maybe some vocals going on. Then up to 10k hertz, you have your hi hats. Uh, some of the body of your crashes and up until the end we have hi-hats and uh, like white noise maybe just some high stuff to fill out the high end now you can see that everything was filled out and everything has its place and nothing is gonna overlap each other so this is the way to get your like your songs to sound professional is to have certain sounds building on these frequencies or in this frequency range from negative whatever to 100 hertz and like so your sub bass whatever but you don't want too much or also overfill what you're supposed to do so let's say you had a sub and it went up to 200 well that's bad because now you don't have room for anything else in between 100 and 200 hertz and that's the same for like your main bass if you have a lot of basses playing at the same time from 200 to 100 or 1k they're gonna overfill with water and it's going to go above the range that it's supposed to be in. And you want to keep a range for every specific sound. So I hope this example was helpful. You guys can tell me if you want more like live video um, examples and hopefully I can help. And uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And again, tell me if you like this video. And I'll probably comment back on everyone's comment like I normally do. But uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, favorite, all that fun stuff. Goodbye.